Meghan Markle steps out in stunning Dior gown for ambassador's reception in Morocco. Meghan Markle stepped out in a stunning Dior gown for an ambassador's reception in Morocco. Harry and Meghan were welcomed to the Rabat residence of British Ambassador Thomas Riley by Mr. Riley's two daughters Orla, 12 and Elsa, 8. Upon entering the home the Duke and Duchess were given a traditional rosewater greeting and were officially welcomed by the ambassador's wife Leah. At the reception the royal couple will meet guests from across Moroccan society including young leaders, entrepreneurs, business representatives and influential people from local girls' education and sport. The event is being held to highlight the positive difference the guests have made to Moroccan society through their influence and activities. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were seen with big smiles as they were greeted by the ambassador's daughters. Harry listened intently as Orla and Elsa Riley, the daughters of the British ambassador to Morocco, met with the royal pair. Both seemed in good spirits as they were greeted at a reception hosted by the British ambassador to Morocco at the British residence in Rabat on the second day of their tour of Morocco. A traditional Moroccan five-piece drum band played as Harry and Meghan were welcomed to residence of British ambassador Thomas Riley. The royal couple walked up a red carpet, that had been laid for their arrival, before being handed two bouquets of colorful roses by Mr. Riley's two daughters. Meghan, wearing a Moroccan-inspired cream dress by Dior, smiled as she took a bouquet from Orla, saying, Thank you, that is so kind, they are beautiful. The Duchess introduced her husband, turning to him saying, this is Harry as the Duke bent down to shake the sisters' hands. After asking Elsa her name Meghan was handed a second bouquet, which she smelt exclaiming wow, they are so sweet. The Duke and Duchess were then shown into the house by the ambassador to be welcomed by guests from across Moroccan society including young leaders, entrepreneurs, business representatives and influential people from local girls' education and sport. Afterwards Orla said, we were quite nervous meeting them but they were really nice. Prince Harry asked us if we lived here all the time or whether this was a temporary house and asked us if we had parties like this every week, which we don't otherwise it would be a lot of work. It's been a lot of preparation but really fun. The flowers we gave them were from out garden which we helped choose and Meghan said they were beautiful which we are so glad about. Elsa said, it's been very busy but at the end it all turned out well and it was very good. Upon entering the home the Duke and Duchess were given a traditional rosewater greeting and were officially welcomed by the ambassador's physiotherapist wife Leah. The Duchess of Sussex issued a clarion call to feminists around the world at the glittering embassy reception in Morocco. Looking glamorous in the floor-length cream caftan. A nod to her hosts, she told guests at a reception held at the residence of Britain's Ambassador Thomas Riley that women in the North African country and all over the world need to push the boundaries to advance their cause. Women have to challenge everywhere in the world, she told a group of female executives and entrepreneurs. The Duchess, who has made women's empowerment a key part of her campaigning work, was responding to Maram Ben Salah, chief executive of a finance and agricultural firm called the Whole Markham Group, who told her that Moroccan women had made great advances towards equality but still faced disadvantages. We were discussing how there are still many boundaries all over the world, the business executive said. Meghan, 37, and Harry, 34 met around 130 influential Moroccans at the reception, including captains of industry, military officers, disabled athletes and young entrepreneurs. The royal couple were invited to wash their hands in scented rose water in a traditional welcome when they arrived at the ambassador's residence. Most Moroccan families make their own rose water from seeped rose petals to offer their guests a chance of freshening up when they arrive at their home. At tonight's reception two embassy workers, 
Rachita Banana Blend Rachita Joji, poured rose water from ornate sprinklers onto the royal couple's hands and then gave them towels to dry their hands. Mirchi, said Megan. Earlier in her visit, Megan received a henna tattoo celebrating her pregnancy at Morocco's High Atlas Mountains region. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex touched down in Asni by helicopter to meet young women getting a secondary education thanks to the efforts of a British entrepreneur. In brilliant winter sunshine Harry and Meghan were welcomed to the town of Asni by pupils being taught at a boarding house run by the Moroccan NGO Education for All, founded by Michael McHugo. Resident Samir Uwadi, 17, became Meghan's henna artist. She has lived there for six years and painted the flower on Megan's right hand and forearm to mark her pregnancy which is considered a blessing. The henna is tradition in Morocco during the seventh month of pregnancy to celebrate the health of the mother and baby. Megan, 37, sat patiently for three minutes while a flower pattern was painted on her left hand. When it was finished she said said it was really lovely before showing it off to Prince Harry.